Ah, didn't see you there. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about blocking. Blocking in Dark and Darker can feel weird. I remember at first, I didn't like it. I didn't understand it. It felt like I would be in a defensive stance and I would still take damage. Like, players were able to somehow hit me through my shield all the time. I basically thought it was broken. And not like the good kind of broken, like this is the most broken thing in Dark and Dark. Like I thought it was like actually broken. Like they were working on it. But now I've spent more time with a shield, with blocking. I've realized it's not broken, it's just particular. I want to make a video because I think this is a really fun way to play the game. And also one of the most underrated and powerful playstyles in Dark and Darker. Oops. Oops. Trying to jump it. We got him. I can block it. I can block it. If you want to get better using a shield, I feel like there are three super important things to understand. And that's what this video is about. You just kept running. Okay, here you go. Now you're here. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> GG, man. <laughs> the first really important thing to understand is how other players see your character model holding a shield in a defensive stance. Because it's not intuitive looking from the first person camera. Like, from the first person perspective, you just got a shield up and it looks like your body is covered. And really, that's not the case at all. There are big parts of your body that are exposed. That was a big reason why I didn't understand how shields worked in the beginning. Because I didn't realize which parts of my body the shield was actually covering. Circling you off of your portal, that way I can finish you. That's my strategy. Go for the feet, because you're not blocking the feet. Yes, sir. That's how you get her done. Better fighter, better pizza. Um, so the first thing to understand is how your character looks when you're holding a shield so you can better position that shield for blocking. Looking from the first person perspective, you see the shield go up. It's easy to forget that there are parts of your body that are totally visible and vulnerable. And so remembering that what you see isn't what you get when you're in defensive stance, but in fact your opponent sees a different picture. And having that picture of your character's body in mind will greatly improve your ability to anticipate their attacks and to actually block those attacks. Nice shot, buddy. The second most important thing to understand is how to actually turn your first-person camera to put your shield in the path of an incoming enemy weapon. From the first person perspective, when you have the shield up, it just, it feels like you're protected. It feels like you're in a defensive stance. But really that's just half the battle. You actually have to turn the camera to turn the shield to block the attack. And if you don't turn the camera, then the shield is not going to interrupt the enemy weapon and actually make the block. You really have to move the camera a lot. And again, this is not necessarily intuitive because you, you know, you go into a defensive stance. It looks like you're blocking. You should block things, but you still get hit. You actually have to move the camera to move the shield 
to put that shield in the path of the oncoming weapon or projectile. Block it. Yeah, nice. Whoa. Clutch block. And the third thing is understanding weapons and their respective attack patterns. Because if you can anticipate the attack pattern of any given weapon, you know how you need to move your character and position your shield to give yourself the best chance to block the attack. That was easy to block. Oh, that was good. Wait for the ones you can block. Some attacks come from the top, down. Some attacks come from the side, in a swiping motion. And some attacks are thrust at you or come from the middle out towards you. And of course there's projectiles. You go down. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. And so each of those attack patterns has their own kind of like shield motion or lack thereof uh, that you need to do to give yourself the highest probability to block those attacks. Viking sword. Got him. Whoa. waiting for that overhead. That's great. Okay. We're at the point of the editing process where I'm out of <laughs> more things to say. So I'm going to close out the video with some PvP highlights. Uh, I wish you all a happy wipe and I'll see you around. Who's it going to be? It's a rogue! <laughs> Surprised. Sorry, dude. Hostile. 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 Watch behind you. Watch behind you. This third party. I'll play you a song. I swear I'll sing. I can sing. I sing. I sing. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Good luck, man. <clears throat> Oops. There you go toe to toe. That's it. That's the counter attack. Maybe. shots, buddy. What? Oh, wow. That's wild. Let's rush him. Got him. Oh. Wow.
Stop trying to hurt me, bro. Hold up. A ranger. You know we gotta kill those first. Let him do the work, and I'll use my campfire. I got you. I got you, buddy. Sorry, dude. Hostile. Wait for that block. Wait for the block. Wait for it. Wait for the block. Uh oh. Oh, that's it. I had to coach myself there. <laughs> 